Well, hello everybody, welcome back, back to the blog. And this afternoon, I'm going to chat to you about a few things that have been going on. But first of all, I've been having a bit of a bad day today with technology. Um, and uh, this is the second take I've done of this particular video. So hopefully this is going to work out better than the first time. Uh, it, sometimes you just can't make it up, can you? But anyway, first of all, thank you very much for all those people who um, viewed the last video and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I love the comments. I've only had one comment back from Neil actually um, who um, he and I have been chatting uh, through that particular upload so um, so hopefully you've enjoyed that and uh, enjoyed uh, seeing what I've been up to and a few uh, over the last uh, month or so uh, in various guys doing the North Downs Wall, going to Wales and all that jazz and uh, yeah really enjoying myself there. And this afternoon I thought I'd do something to totally different, back to the knitting as it were, back to what I normally do. So I'm going to play some records this afternoon and uh, yeah and one of those I've recorded on the uh, Kanaguchi little um, uh, portable uh, cheap Chinese uh, machine uh, which I think sounds better for the record but I'm also going to play it on the um, uh, on the on the gramophone on the acoustic machine as well just to see what the sound difference is actually I might use that rather than the first take I did actually so uh, thinking about it but just a bit of a few parish notices I wanted to mention the first thing is that I have actually sold the iMac 20 late 2013 it's actually gone now um, and um, at least I hope it's gone the first the first time I sold it the guy who won the bid on eBay uh, wanted me to ship it and I'd made it very clear that I wasn't going to ship it it's collection only from the Maidstone area but uh, and then I never received payment so basically he was a bit of a time waster uh, so I just relisted it and it's already come to the end of its six days I think it was on so hopefully it will go and have a nice new home so that's good news for that um, so the other thing is that um, I'm going to be doing an up-and-coming video I've got one ready in the can but I just need to do some editing and uh, I think you'll find that quite interesting as well uh, some of the things I've been mentioning um, the things I get up to I've, I've did a video of that particular thing so I'm not going to give too much away so make sure you stay tuned and then I'll uh, upload that video as well after I've done some editing on that all right the other thing is that I'm going to be selling my 595 a bath uh, theatre bath um, I've decided to sell it as uh, Grisho he's called for the reason that I've got another new project coming along very soon and I want to use the money I've invested in Grisho to put into that nice new project it will be a car and uh, so but so keep tuned about that and I'll keep you posted as things change so yeah to be to be quite exciting really but before then I'm going to um, give you another surprise for something that I found um, in the uh, Heart and Hospice charity shop, the one in the Aylesford shop that I've been helping out at, uh, something that I saw the, the hint of, the bottom of, in a pile of other stuff and when I investigated it I found something very nice. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what that is, so stay tuned for that. So right, here we go. So this is a very nice early 101 uh, um, uh, HMV 101. You can see also that um, it's clearly been left with a six inch record lying on there with the sunshine because there's a difference in the <laughs> the felt here. Apart from that it's very much uh, in its original guise and um, so I'm going to play that this afternoon. I've got some, I've got a very nice uh, record by Lou Stone to play on there, the Continental uh, which I think you'll enjoy um, and the other side is Smoke Gets In My Eyes. I think uh, I think actually Sam Brown is singing on this. I think it is Sam Brown. I have heard this before. Uh, I'm not sure who the artist is. Certainly not El Boli as you'd expect. So I'm going to play that for you this afternoon. This actually gramophone features well in this very nice book by Dave Cooper. Now if anyone who needs, who needs to have a leading authority on uh, portable gramophones this is the book to get yourself because it really is uh, very very good um, and well worth the um, the money I spent on this some years ago um, and I'm going to show you that particular machine when I can get the book open one-handed uh, whoops Daisy there we go uh, right here we go so we can see that here I'll put some pictures on 
on the video so that you know. But um, this came out in between 1925 and 1931, this particular machine, and um, it, it's very similar to the one that I have in the main house in, the, in my music room come office upstairs, which you've seen, which I call the daddy of all gramophones because I'd had that since I was about 11 years of old age. Oh, and, uh, but this particular machine is really nice. Um, Dave Cooper is the leading authority on, I think, on gramophones. and. Um, very very nice machine so um, it has an autom not it doesn't have an automatic brake it has a, a manual brake um, it has a single spring uh, motor Gerard motor uh, very similar setup with a number four box here and I haven't done anything to it I haven't even polished this machine because it is literally as it came out uh, from when I picked it up and uh, came with uh, everything you'd expect, including, would you believe, which is something that my other one hasn't got, the key to the, the lock here, which goes in here. Uh, and I was really impressed by that. So that's something to hang on to. Also, with these very nice spade needles, I think they're called. These ones here, if I can just get them out. I think they're called spade needles. There we go. There we are. I'm not sure what the idea of these are. They're made of brass. They look like brass to me. Um, I'm not sure whether that alters the sound quality or not. And uh, but uh, and I've never used them, so I might do that this afternoon. I might put one of those in and see what the difference in sound is. But um, certainly, um, certainly, it's a very nice machine. Sounds very very nice. Uh, and uh, yeah. Also, just a bit of an update about the uh, Langer foam machine, which is this in. I did actually open the box and have a look inside believe it or not this is a double spring motor in here um, also based on the good old 101 so the horn goes all the way around the outside I'll put some pictures that I took of this machine so that you know um, exactly what it looks like inside but I haven't done anything with it as I've been busy doing other things but anyway for this afternoon for this afternoon let's play um, let's play some records and let's play the um, Continental. So yeah, hold fire. So on the Regal Zonophone label, the Continental, a foxtrot with Lou Stone and his band. Not sure who the vocalist is. It could be Sam Brown, but I'll make sure I put it along the scrolling banner at the bottom. And uh, on the 101 1925 uh, early machine and uh, from uh, the Harder Kent Hospice. Enjoy! <laughs> Also using a uh, spade type needle made of brass. <laughs> Because it does what you want it to do. It has a passion, the continental. An invitation to moonlight and romance. It's quite the fashion, the continental. Because you tell of your love while you dance. Your lips whisper so tenderly. Your eyes answer your song. Your body swaying, the continental. And you are saying to what you're thinking of, so keep on dancing, the continental, for it's a song of romance and of love. <laughs> you kiss while you're dancing. 
Enjoyed that as much as I do. I really like the um, that particular version uh, by Lou Stone, and uh, yeah, okay. So um, yeah, there's a lovely book by out about him that I read uh, a little while ago, uh, via Memory Lane, and uh, yes, it's about Lou's life. And uh, so Joyce Stone also passed away about mm, three years ago, and she's featured in the book, and a great lady herself. There we go. So there we are. Yeah, enjoy that. That's called the Continental. So for the second Regal uh, by Lou Stone, smoke gets in your eyes. Um, and again, it's a slow foxtrot. This is, and we don't know who the vocal refrain is by this, but with course chorus, very, very nice number. So enjoy, and I'm playing this again on the uh, 1925 101 gramophone. <laughs> Thank you. 
lovely number there. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, that's fine. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. So here we go. So on the uh, little Kanaduchi record player, playing through the anchor um, speaker box. To finish our March of the Movies today, I've picked out the ballet music which forms the finale to a film called Unfinished Dance. This film stars C. Therese and Margaret O'Brien. The closing sequences of the film are woven into a ballet dance to David Rose's Holiday for Strings. And here's the MGM Symphony Orchestra and the melody you all know. There we are, my friends, and I hope you'll join us again when we get around with more songs and scenes from the movie. Cheerio. This motion picture parade, March of the Movies, was devised and written by Harry Allen Tarr, produced and introduced by Godfrey Holloway. knows anything about picture parade I'd be interested to hear I did look it up and this particular film uh, and I'll post some bits underneath so the second side is a bit from the film as far as I'm aware uh, and uh, so we'll play that and, and I say I'm playing this through the Bluetooth speaker so with this machine gives it quite a nice sound here we go <laughs> Hello, little 
Joe. This is bad business. Georgia Brown, what, what are you doing here? I just want to say hello, see how you've been. Ain't no harm in that, is there? Well, there ain't no harm in passing the time of day, I guess. Nice to know you're getting well again. I hope you ain't forgotten. Oh, I ain't forgot you. Then maybe you'll be coming around to Jim Henry's place to see me. I tell you, George, it's like this. Yeah? It's like this. It seems the last time I was there, I got into a little bit of trouble. Oh, that. Oh, the guy that caused all that trouble. That Domino Johnson. He's in jail now. I know, but that ain't it. Well, what is it then? Look at me, little Joe. Are you happy without seeing me? Well, the truth is... Of course you're happy. Tell her to get away from here before you spoil all your chances. Tell the truth, I have been trying my best not to think of you lately. You have, sugar? Uh-huh. Why, you lying rascal. You know you never could get her out of your mind. Go ahead and tell her that. Of course, I ain't saying I... Altogether forgot you. You ain't easy to erase from the mind once a man gets to know you good, like. Why does you want to forget me, Sugar? Well, it seems there was a lot of reasons why. But for the life of me, I can't seem to think of one of them now. Cause if you don't care about me no more. George, you don't talk like that. Well, you know, I'd never do anything to hurt your feelings. Oh, <laughs> And there goes his passport to heaven. <laughs> oh, this is the best fight we've won in a long time. <laughs> Go ahead, little Joe. Take over the train. Now stop that, little Joe. Think of the consequences. Little Joe. Cut that out! Life's full of consequence, that old devil consequence. He takes all the frills out of all. When you got the candle lit at home and the scandal it creates, always keeps you on the run. comes to the glamour and charm of Georgia Brown, who sings this song at a nightclub before Petunia comes and finds her little girl and takes him home. There we are, there we go. So, if anyone knows anything about that film, I'd be interested to know, as I know nothing about that, and uh, I assume it's from the same film, but I don't know. But anyway, I thought I'd make a bit of an interest this afternoon, and uh, stay tuned, because I've got something else coming up in a minute.
Well, thank you very much for coming along the journey and watching today, and I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have enjoyed it and you like the sort of things I put on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the like button and the little bell so that you know next time I'll be um, uploading a video, which hopefully will be very soon. I'm going to play some more lovely music from the Colchester collection, of which this recent record uh, was played uh, this afternoon so but thank you very much just quickly to say that my cold has actually finally gone I had this cold that as soon as I came back from Wales was there and then I got a sort of post viral infection afterwards where I felt really rough some days it sort of washed over me but finally that went this week so I'm really pleased about that but thank you very much for all your comments and also um, all the other things that are going on and I'm glad you liked today hope you did anyway and um yeah i hope to see you very soon take care all the best bye so welcome back and on the regal zona phone label the continental foxtrot with lou stone and i will investigate who the singer is it might be sam brown but i'm not sure but enjoy and this is on the 1925 101 from the Hartigan Hospice. Here we go. I'm oh, using one of the uh, brass spade, spade needles, I think they're called. <laughs> Wasn't a good start, was it? Hang on a second.